Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, it's going to be all about using Luma mats. If you saw the tutorial on Wednesday, you would know that I did a little tutorial about mats. However, I did just create two mat packs. Um, one is for free and I have a paid version. The paid version have 21 different mats with dif different shapes you can use. And if you're interested in that, take a look down in the description below. So if you don't want to use my mat packs, you can of course create your own and you can do that inside of the editing page using solid colors and masks. And of course, in this video, I want to show you how to do just that. And also I want to show you what you can do different things using my packs or your own. So that is what this video is going to be all about. So let's get right to it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you how you can create your own mats inside of DaVinci Resolve using solid colors. So first off, let's just go up to the effects and I'll go into generators and I'm going to take a solid color. I'm going to put that down in the timeline and then I'm just going to zoom in quite a bit so I can see what I'm doing and I'll make the solid color a little longer. And the first thing I need to do is to change the color and I'll do that in the inspector and I'm just going to click here color and I'm going to change this into white like that. I'm just going to push select. So now we have a white color. I'm going to move this up to video track two, then I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a new compound clip. I could change the name for this, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do so. So I have now a white compound clip. I'll go into the color page, choose mask. And you know, you could make your own shapes. In this case, I'm just going to make a circle. So I'm just going to put this in here. And then in the softness here, I'm just going to put this down to zero. So it's a kind of a hard shape. And then I'm going to right click over at the grid here and I'm going to add in an alpha out. And I'm just going to connect this line to the blue dot down here. Now we have a white circle on a black background. I'll go back to the editing page. And I think it's important to do this as well. Put in another solid color. In this case, the color of this solid is a black color. I'm just going to highlight both of those and I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a new compound clip. I'm going to change the name for that. Let's just call this matte. Like that. And here we have our own mat that we can work and do stuff with. For the next part of this tutorial, I'll show you how you could use something like this, but I'm just going to use my pack. So this is how you can use the mat pack. We're going to select the mat on video track number one. We'll go up to the inspector and in the inspector, we'll go down to the composite mode and change that to Luma. Since these mat packs do not have alpha channels, that's why we're using the Luma. I'll then go to the top layer, which is our video clip. I'll go into the inspector and again into the composite mode and I'll go down and change that to foreground. So you now have your video inside of the white Luma area in your videos. And of course you could easily highlight those, right click and make a new compound clip. This will make it possible for you to move your shape around, resize your shape. And of course you could always add a background, for instance, a four color gradient, put that on video track one, and of course move your selected clips on top. So for the last part of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a little trick to make the mats more alive. Um, so we'll do that 
pretty quickly here. So I have this circular mask. You can do this with any shape and stuff like that. But for this little effect, I will uh, use the circular mask. So um, in the background, I have this clip here with the Mac pack, and I just want to do a little uh, animation. So I'm going to select the mat. I'll go up to the inspector and I'll go into the zoom and I'm going to zoom this out. So it will be like out of the frame and I'm just going to put in a keyframe and then I'll just go a little forward like that. And then I'm going to change the zoom in and I'm going to zoom this in close. So we're doing kind of this, uh, that's all for now folks thing for the cartoons you would see. So we have this little thing here. So that's just one way of using mats. You can zoom them or you can make movements on the mat and then reveal stuff you have underneath. So I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.